status. Now I want to do host. So like, so say you've got attached to a Microsoft Exchange, you can add a route. So if you're going to add a route though, you've got to specify the email server and then an IP address. And I don't have any of these. And you can do a perform MX lookup required TLS. Of course, always require sign certificate recommended validate the host name. And again, you can test that connection here, but you just want to give a name for this mail route and then to whatever host you've got, single host name or IP. If you have multiple hosts, again, you can go ahead and choose your primary loads and everything else. So this is all pretty straight, standard, state, state, straightforward. I don't have a, an email system to hook up to or a Microsoft server, but if you've got something else that you need to do, you can go ahead and set it up, whether you've got just a single host or multiple hosts, then they can just go ahead and do a mail route for you. This is great if you're gonna do legacy. Right, if you're going to move from one system to another, say you're going to move from Gmail to Office or Outlook or Exchange or however you want to do it, this is a way of actually making that route. You can even split the route so that mail goes to both places. Kind of up to you on how you want to do it. But this is really kind of the neat way of working the process. And this is where you're going to add that email route. And I don't have any. So that's all it is. It's a straightforward fill in the boxes and go. All right, that's it for email routing for Exchange and everything else. So let's head on to the next section.